Happy Monday. Uh, this is Steve coming to you with our Monday message. I think last week I was walking around outside, beautiful sunny day. I am on our porch at home listening to the rain outside uh, and grateful for uh, the, the way that we're easing into this Monday morning with this beautiful sounding rain. So just wanted to check in with you and tell you what's on my mind. I got a few things as always. Um, if you joined us for worship yesterday, you heard uh, a, a very inspiring sermon from Rebecca, beautiful music from Amy Whitehead on the flute. We appreciate Chris coordinating that. Uh, a Peace Be With You video starring you. Um, and uh, a P Prayers of the People, uh, a video called Pray Song for the Pandemic that was really powerful. There are links in the email uh, that this message is in if you'd like to revisit those, including a link to Sunday worship if you missed it or if you just want to worship again, it's in there. Uh, some good news to share. Uh, many of you remember we had to postpone Gilchrist Sunday back on March 22nd. That was, I think, our second week of staying at home. I'm pleased to share that in consultation with Baron Mullis, we have rescheduled Gilchrist Sunday for September the 20th. So Baron will be with us. He'll do exactly what he would have done in March, It'll just be in September. So Gilchrist Sunday will be a little later this year, but we will have it and we are excited about that and certainly looking forward to welcoming Baron back at Trinity. As we continue in our stay at home and staying at home, uh, I, I'm already beginning to think ahead to that time, whenever it is, that we will be back together and what that might look like for us. Uh, recognizing that, as I know some local authorities and governors have said about starting things back up, that it'll be less like flipping a switch and more like a dimmer. So I'm working with staff and the worship ministry team and other church leaders to talk about what that might mean for us. Um, things like social distancing in the sanctuary for worship and uh, the way we might adapt communion or the offering. Just some small tweaks to, to, to make them better. Um, and other things that we're considering as a way of kind of, again, easing back into things whenever that time comes. So uh, we're, we're creating those plans now so that when the time comes, we will be able to share those plans in advance so that everyone knows uh, what we'll be doing, you know, whether we're, people will be wearing masks and making masks available, things like that. So stay tuned when the time comes for us to get back together for some of those details. Um, and speaking of getting back together, just so that you hear this from me, um, we are going to be guided by the local and state authorities. Uh, we're going to follow their lead and their guidance. Um, session will ultimately make the decision about when we will come back together. Um, so those are the things that are determining the timetable for us. Uh, our concern from the, 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 when we made the decision to suspend all church activities, our concern from them until now has been the public health and safety of not just Trinity members, but of the community. Because uh, that's, that's what you have to consider when you are dealing with a global pandemic. It's not just about you. It's about everybody that you around you. And so that's our North Star and what's determining uh, the timetable. So stay tuned and we'll see when that is. Um, thanks to some persistent work from Cheryl, some quick action from Cheryl Jernigan, our church administrator we have submitted forms for the application for the payroll protection plan under the CARES Act, the Federal CARES Act that Congress approved. Um, we received notification from our bank that those forms had been received uh, the same morning that uh, it was announced that they were out of funds. So we are hoping that if and when Congress replenishes that, that our application will be one of the first to be considered. Of course, there's no guarantee at all that we would be able to accrue any of those funds, but I'm really grateful to Cheryl in particular for her fast action to get in the queue because obviously there are a lot of people vying for this and we'll see what happens. Um, speaking of finances, I, I really have some great news to share. Um, after more than a month of staying at home and being apart, we are continuing to meet 
our financial obligations to staff, to our bills, to essential expenses. And this is due in part to um, our church closely managing our spending, but also a big, big part of it is each and every one of you for your consistent and faithful giving, even as we've been apart for this long. And I cannot tell you how much this means um, that you all are doing this. Um, I know that for some of you, financial hardships are real and you're just not able to fulfill giving and that is okay. Um, but I also understand that just being apart for as long as we have, no, nope, this has never happened before, that this would be an opportunity for some who are able to say, well, I'm just not going to, to, to mess with that right now. I'm so grateful that you are not doing that and you are uh, remaining current on your giving and even giving ahead as you are able. So thank you for doing that. Please keep it up. Um, and please know that, again, as I always say, that our church is continuing to grow together and welcome all and be church in this way. My friends, we are over a month into this. Um, I know that it is, uh, the, the, the newness of it is kind of wearing off. Uh, I know it's getting hard for many of you for all kinds of different reasons. And that is why, again, as I say every time, I hope that you know that Rebecca and I are just a phone call away, an email away. We want to know if, if you're struggling, if this is a difficult time. Even if it's just a one-day thing, uh, we want to know that. Um, please continue to check in on each other. Think about three people this week that you want to reach out to, maybe two that you maybe normally connect with, and then a third person uh, that you've wanted to know more about and find time to do that. Stay safe, be safe, be kind, and be church, and we will see you later. Take care.